Social Solidarity Movement come to us with a message of self-transformation to social transformation. I welcome all the members of this movement to present their own day. Today, on this auspicious occasion of celebration of 64 glorious years of India's independence, we, the members of Universal Solidarity Movement, being the moral commanders, are here to be an eye of your this is a registered NGO working for the betterment of the society. It trains the youth with values and turns them into dynamic leaders of the country. It teaches us value education for peace, love and truth. Every citizen plays an important role in building the India of our dream. This movement inculcates in us deep skills and binds us in a single thread of emotions and pure love. Father Vergil Kalangari launched his dream project on 16 July 1993 at Indore. He was inspired by Brother Roger in France, who had started a community of his own, where youth of diverse origins lived together in harmony. USN begins with building bonds between people, celebrating their differences as a source of enrichment, and then goes on to bonding with the universe at large. In order to build a civilization of love on earth, we need to show solidarity with different religions, culture, nature, the poor and the needy. This is what USM wants to promote. Universal Solidarity Movement advocates practicing a fight path as the only remedy to all the miseries of life. So here we are to depict what role individuals can play in making India a paradise on earth by practicing a fight path of USM in their lives. It's for peace. Although we pray daily, we sometimes pray for peace in our lives, but not for our country. Then we must pray daily, not for ourselves, but for our nation and world. This presupposes that the person cultivates an inner attitude of forgiveness and reconciliation prior to prayer. A true prayer for peace will make one desire the welfare of all, especially those who have damaged one's reputation. The result is that they experience peace within themselves, they promote peace in their neighborhood and in the country. As young people born and brought up in well-to-do homes and educated in good schools, we are indeed fortunate to have everything needed for a happy and secure life. However, we cannot close our eyes to what is happening around us. We have a duty towards other human beings for all other children of the same world. How can we be deaf to the agonizing cries of those around us? How can we afford to spend so much money Fulfill our dreams when millions of Indians cannot even afford their basic necessities. You simply cannot pretend to be ignorant of the sufferings and pain of our own brothers and sisters. We shall prevent ourselves from remaining indifferent and apathetic. As a sign of sensitivity, we need to cut down on our unnecessary expenses on ice cream, chocolate, and other junk food. Hence, one of the five parts of self-transformation is to skip a meal a week, to show solidarity towards the hungry and the needy. It is rightly said, the best way to serve God is to serve mankind. Doing a good deed without any selfish motive and helping others makes us good and we all feel happy. Sharing our things and helping the needy is another way of serving God. Doing a good deed without any selfish motive is one of the paths of self-transformation. Do a good deed every day without any selfish motive. It will make you feel happy and you yourself will find a change in you. Our for self-transformation is honoring teachers and all you. 
According to ancient Indian culture and tradition, parents, teachers, and elders are to be respected. But we do not think of all men who are needy and not to the section of the society. Status conscious and many minded people cannot think of all men who are poor and needy. When we learn to honor all human beings, irrespective of their caste, color, and status, we start accepting and appreciating the diversity that others have. Is the home. And we usually tend to think of it as an inanimate object, but it is actually a living, breathing entity full of life and wonder. The phrase Mother Earth is a perspective that looks at the place where we live with respect. It is this attitude of looking at the world in a loving, positive, and uplifting manner that directs us to treat the place we call home. So turn to one another, respect one another, respect mother earth, save water and energy because that is life itself. Thus, the final part for personal transformation is respect mother earth and save its resources. Time comes when we shall bring our pledge, not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. These were the words of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru when he addressed the Constituent Assembly in New Delhi on the eve of 15th of August 1947. The day marked in golden letters of the Indian history where India became independent. After 64 years of independence, looking at the present scenario, can we call India an independent nation? Certainly not. We are only politically independent as we are still in the clutches of social evils, of corruption, caste and gender discrimination, child labor, etc., which is a great hindrance in the path of a country's progress. That is where the Universal Solidarity Movement stands for, to unite our countrymen by influencing them to practice the five paths. USM believes in self-transformation to socially transformed world. Today, from educational institutions to government offices, every path of human society has become corrupt. It's not just confined to the politicians alone. It's very really unfortunate on our nation's part that honest and competent people become victims of dirty politics, and corrupt and incompetent ones are crowned with key posts, which has certainly been proved by the 2D spectrum and the Commonwealth Games Cam in India. The Universal Solidarity Movement believes it's high time for us to act now. As the speeches and assurances won't work, we need good leaders who believe in taking the initiative and not wait for others to initiate. USA aims in retrieving India its lost title of the beautiful golden bird which it once was, and that we, the citizens of this country, may abide by the preamble of a constitution which states, we, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to contribute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. Yeah. A nation born of a history dating back to centuries. A history adorned with diverse languages and cultures, multifarious faiths and beliefs. Therein lies the real beauty of our motherland. It is only when we acknowledge this beauty, relate and associate it with nature, can we glorify the Creator and lodge the beauty of all His creations. 